Hey everybody, it's Ashley from Ashley's Green Life and today's green tip is my favorite recipe for gluten-free, sugar-free, vegan brownies. So I'm sure a lot of my friends and family would say if you take all those things away, what's the point of even having brownies? But um, you know me, I can't have most of those things in my diet so I was on a quest to find the perfect brownies um, that I could eat and that didn't spike my blood sugar like crazy and give me a headache afterwards. So. Um, after searching around on Pinterest, I found tons that were vegan and gluten-free, but a lot of them had um, like so much sugar in them, so I knew those were out. So I found a recipe on the blog called um, The Spunky Coconut, and I've kind of modified it since then, um, and that's the one I'm going to be sharing with you today. So let's get going with that recipe. All right, so for the ingredients, you're going to need nut butter. I use a combo of cashew butter and almond butter. You also need guar gum or xanthan gum some baking soda, some stevia. I use this brand Sweet Leaf. You'll need three packets for the recipe. Um, some baking powder, applesauce, cacao powder or cocoa powder, um, and some salt. The first thing you're going to do is to measure out a half cup of applesauce into a mixing bowl. Follow that up with two tablespoons or a little more um, of water there, as you can see. Next step is one fourth teaspoon of the guar gum. Xanthan gum would work here as well. And you're going to whisk that up. Now we're going to start adding the dry ingredients. So a half a teaspoon of baking powder followed by a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And a fourth a teaspoon of salt. And now I'll add the three packets of stevia. So you could do liquid stevia as well, except I just am more familiar with the packets. It's kind of how I started getting into stevia. So if you know kind of how to do the um, ratios for that, you can do that too. Next, you'll need um, about a fourth cup of cacao powder, and then I followed up with another almost fourth cup. So that's like just a little bit less than half a cup of cacao powder or cocoa powder. Next up is the nut butter. So I used half a cup of cashew butter. And as you can see, it's kind of tricky to scoop it out. Um, using a spoon plus measuring cup kind of kind of helps get it out of there and into the bowl a little easier. Then I use another half cup of almond butter. You could use either one. Whatever works for you is fine. So then you're going to pour that in there. You could do even peanut butter too if you want to. And you can just do one full cup of all of these. But I just like to divide up the two nut butter so I don't like use up a whole jar <laughs> in one recipe. Now you're going to mix it all together till it's pretty well combined. And try not to make a ma major mess like I am <laughs> on the counter. And once you can tell that it's all combined, you're pretty good to go. That's about all there is. There we have it, our batter. <laughs> Ready to bake. Okay, this is a great time to eat some of the batter. And since it doesn't have eggs, you're, you know, kind of a free pass. Um, so now I'm going to grease a loaf pan. So I found this is best for this kind of a smaller brownie recipe to use. I just use a little coconut oil <clears throat> with clean hands, rub it in there. Um, and then I scoop out the batter into the pan and get it ready to bake. You might find it's necessary to kind of spread it around so it goes more evenly. And then we're going to bake it for 25 minutes or so at 350 degrees. And here's what it looks like whenever it's done. After you let it cool for a couple minutes, it's pretty good to start um, removing from the pan. Um, I, I find it kind of comes out fairly easily and it cuts up just like normal brownies would. So this batch makes about um, eight small brownies or so, but you could have just four big ones if you wanted or even smaller ones too. There you have it, that's the finished brownies. So um, that is my brownie recipe here. And uh, if you have your favorite kind of gluten-free or vegan or alternative brownie recipe, you can share that below too. And we can all learn from each other and try some new recipes. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for the next green tip. Bye. Time for me to eat my brownie. <laughs> mm. So good. <laughs>